this evening we are having dinner at Partake. They have a beautiful patio in the back. They serve French sort of casual food and they have been on basically every list. Everyone loves this place and now it's time for me to love this place and I'm gonna go love it. Partake has been on my radar for a while now. Opening only a few years ago in Westmount, this little French bistro serves hearty and rustic fare reminiscent of a casual brasserie terrace in Paris. You'll find Partake in the High Street area. You know, that little area with all of the adorable shops and good restaurants. It's quite an ideal location. Helmed by chef and owner Cyril's Coper, his restaurant is everything that you want a tiny French spot to be. A reservation is recommended and our friendly server brought us to the sunny back patio where we happily settled in along with our complimentary serving of delightfully seasoned popcorn. This did not last long. In fact, it was inhaled. Next, it was drinks and the menu is full of lovely French inspired cocktails. I was very into the number 14 described as spicy and tropical. It sounded like the perfect beverage to accompany a patio meal during golden hour. Served in a vintage glass, I love the way that this cocktail managed to be complex and simple all at the same time. Just the right amount of boozy, I enjoyed the sweet fruitiness coupled with a bit of heat. I liked this beverage a lot and I felt very cool drinking it. Very excited to get into the food and we ordered just about everything. I knew exactly where to start. Drake said it best. I want my chips with the dip. That's all I know. I want my chips with the dip. That's all I know. I don't want my chips plain. I don't want my chips with the dip. Chips and dip. Ultra crispy, golden, house-made chips with just the right amount of salt. I mean, what more do you need to know? I liked the creamy mayonnaise-based dip a lot. A very delightful snack. Next, I had to try the potato. Prepared in the pomme duchesse style, these swirly little potatoes had a nice crisp bite on the outside and a fluffy soft inside. It occurred to me that this dish is actually kind of similar to the chips and dip, just potatoes offered in a different way. They were served with the exact same aioli as well. I guess it would depend on if you're feeling like crunchy or soft potatoes. Either way, both were wonderful. A must try for me had to be the French onion soup. This soup was everything that I dreamed for it to be and more. A deep broth full of sweet caramelized onions and an incredible depth of flavor, a deliciously toasty jumbo sized crouton, and most importantly, obscene amounts of ultra gooey cheese. There is no fear or restraint of cheese at this restaurant. You must try this wonderfully good version of this classic dish. I ordered the tart at the last second because the ingredients were way up my alley and I couldn't let the opportunity pass me by. The pastry was incredibly light and perfectly flaky with an ideal golden brown color. I loved the flavor combination of olive, anchovy, and caper, three of my very favorite things. The juicy crushed tomato on top was a great way to bring in some springtime freshness. Time for the main event, the pièce de résistance, if you will. Everyone visits Partake to eat the croque monsoubise, and I am no different. This sandwich is Partake's interpretation of a croque monsieur, a hot sandwich made with ham and cheese. The difference is that this one is served with a soubise sauce, an old school French bechamel made with onions. The idea is to smother your already impossibly cheesy sandwich with a rich velvety sauce. I loved the crusty yet soft bread encasing a tangle of tender ham. And again, Partake fully embraces the cheese life and loads more melty gruyere onto this thing than one would think possible. Lastly, our server described the day's dessert, which I quickly obliged to. Served on the same type of pastry as our earlier tart, this one was a perfect example of savory and sweet in dessert form. The light flaky dough was covered in what I believe to be an apple spread, covered in practically liquefied brie cheese, and showered in walnuts. 
There are probably even more ingredients used in this dish that I didn't even catch. Very delicious and not too sweet. I enjoyed how unique this dessert was and how well it complemented everything else that we had already eaten. My experience at Partake was absolutely lovely and I appreciate the diversity that Edmonton is seeing a lot more in its upper scale cuisine. I will be giving Partake four out of five. It was a lovely experience, the food was delicious, the atmosphere was great. It was an all around great experience. There were maybe like a couple little nitpicky things here and there, but otherwise loved. Well, that was this week's video. Hope that you enjoyed. We put out new videos every Thursday, as you probably know by now. And so if you could please like, subscribe, comment, tell all your friends about it, you know, hype up the whole operation. <laughs> and also please find me on Instagram. It's Erica Eats Everything. I am posting about new things almost every day that I am discovering in the city and you need to know about them. So come with me on this journey. See you next week. Partake gets a big we from me. <laughs> Good stuff, right? Okay. <laughs> oh, and this is going for a journey again. It needs to have a clip on it. So it clips. You did. I didn't. Yeah, you yeah, did. You broke it. You broke it. You don't understand the Drake reference. No. <laughs> oh. <from> a song? <laughs> no. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. You need to YouTube this or something because the fact that that went over your head is disturbing to right, me. Yeah. Your brother would be very upset with you. What would Jeff Gollum say?